We are team interplanter, an undergraduate student team from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, presenting the latest iteration of our rover, Renaissance, for European Rover Challenge 2022. Our team is divided into four sub-teams, Mechanical, Electronics, Software and Science Planning. Our team lead is Khandukar Shihabul Haq, who oversees and guides our team and is responsible for collaboration among all the sub-teams. Each sub-team leader is also shown here. Nafis is responsible for mechanical design and assembly of the rover. Samir designs the circuit boards and any other electrical components. I am Saleh. I manage the software and based tasks as well as the user interface of the rover. And Fahad is in charge of science planning and related soil collection and probing tasks. Participating in this competition will promote teamwork and collaboration among the students. We will acquire hands-on experience on designing and implementing a complex electromechanical system. We will get to know the hazards faced while implementing such a project and avoid them accordingly. We will gather experience of formal report writing and documentation techniques and getting feedback from international judges. By participating, we will promote constructive competition between different international universities from all over the world. We are also honored to represent our country and university in an international setting. This year, we made a completely new rover from scratch. The chassis body has been redesigned completely, which allows better housing for electrical components and science payloads. We used a rocker body suspension with bar differential. The bar differential keeps the rover body balanced at an average angle between the two rocker suspension. This minimizes the jerking of the body and protects the electrical component inside. Our rover easily traverses over extreme rocky terrain, climbs steep slopes, withstands vertical drops, and drives over sand dunes. We are using a four-wheel instead of a six-wheel configuration in order to reduce weight. A planetary gear DC motor has been housed inside the wheel to protect it while traversing over extreme terrain. The tires have large treads in order to get better traction while traversing. We use 12 mm tube and 2 mm MS sheet for our rover body. All the parts are made with laser cut and electric welding. For this design, we get enough space for our electric part, especially the body is fully detachable from suspension, wheel and science tool. Our arm has six degrees of freedom. We have used a DC motor and an epicyclic gear system to attain a 360 degree base rotation and have used linear actuators for shoulder joint. Using the combination of two 100 mm and 200 mm stroke linear actuators, the arm will be able to reach ground and 900 mm from the ground to perform the required rear seat tasks. The arm of previous version of Renaissance used to vibrate a lot while running over tough terrain. So this time around we redesigned the arm to make it lightweight and the base plate is supported by ball casters which stabilizes the whole setup. We have developed a completely new end effector based on the tasks of ERC and the experience that we have gathered from previous year's competitions. With our new two coil linear gripper system, we have maximized the uses of space by using a left hand and a right hand lead screw motors which drive the claws. By achieving proper gripping force, our end effector can turn a knob, flip a switch, put a plug in a socket and measure the voltage, take probes from one place to another place, and place electromagnetic plates in proper places. We have set up a 2.4 GHz communication link between the base station and the rover using two rocket m the base station uses a 15 dBi 120 degree sector antenna, whereas an omnidirectional 13 dBi antenna is mounted on the rover. This ensures non line of sight communication over a distance of 1 km from the base station. Our rover utilizes a real sense depth camera for obstacle avoidance and air tight detection for the navigation task. A Jetson Xavier NX is used as the rover's onboard computer. It processes the 3D point cloud data and odometry information from the camera's IMU and generates a 3D map of the surrounding environment. From this, a 2D map is generated where the obstacles are marked in black. Patch planning algorithm uses this map to set the suitable path and avoids obstacles. The entire process is visualized in RVs. We have implemented a ROS connected custom user interface that integrates all the manual functionalities of rover operation for efficient handling of C tasks. Our rover operators can easily control the rover's movement using various buttons on the user interface as well as the keyboard. Also, ROS integration allows sensor information and camera feed to be streamed back to the operator for situational awareness. Electrical system of our rover is divided into four separate boards. For powering the rover, we are using lithium polymer batteries and our power module has two separate power rays, 24 volt and 12 volts for powering the rover. Also, power consumption of the rover is always monitored. For the wheel control board, we are using high current HV motor drivers along with an Arduino to control it over ROS serial. We have redesigned our arm control board to take advantage of the full 6 degrees of freedom and kept options for rotary encoders to precisely control the arm location and implement inverse kinematics. Whole wiring of the arm is newly done to ensure free movement. Our science control board is using stepper driver and servo driver for driving the scooper mechanism 
Also for analyzing the sample, we are using Wheatstone Bridge load cell and an HD camera. Safety of the crews and the rover is our first priority. So we have implemented overcurrent protection and an industry standard kill switch to isolate batteries in case of an emergency. For science planning, we have to study on plausible geological features of Mars terrain. We also analyze different relative age of the aeolian features and for scientific exploration, we studied on different types of rock. For the additional science task, we used Google Earth Pro to detect suitable landing site and the place of interest within Utopia Planitia and Elysium region. For collection task, we have implemented scooper mechanism. The scooper is attached with a platform which gain vertical motion from two different 300 mm and 100 mm linear actuator. We used a servo motor to rotate the scooper from 0 to 270 degree. After raising up to a certain height, the soil load is dropped off into the container. We designed three different containers on a rotating disc to collect soil from three different locations. We will use HX711 load sensor to measure the weight of the soil. For probing task, we have designed an effective probe container to hold and carry the probe efficiently. We will conduct the probing task using the rover arm. We are conducting our branding and outreach programs in our social media pages and conducting various educational and technical sessions, both online and offline. Wish us luck and see you in ERC.